Artificial intelligence is undoubtedly the biggest talking point in the industry this year, and companies are now exploring how the technology can entirely transform their business in dramatic ways. But why is AI needed for telcos, and how can they use it to improve their operations? To find out, I'm delighted to be joined by Joe Kristofik, Head of Product Planning, Network Automation at Fujitsu. So, Joe, firstly, what is the value proposition for AI that is so strong that telcos will need to change everything to embrace it? Well, there's three real focus areas for telcos to think about when it comes to leveraging AI. So there's the enterprise services area, facilitating, accelerating uh, over-the-top services and applications. So whether those applications are third-party based, leveraging network uh, data or provided by the operators themselves, that's a real focus area to drive revenue. Secondly, operational, uh, maintaining cost savings, running and operating uh, networks very efficiently is, is a very key area. So exploiting the data that's produced from the network and learning from it and understanding how they can operate and deliver those services over the top more efficiently and cost effectively. And lastly, security. So security is a very key component. Uh, we've seen it over the years, uh, security attack areas, whether it becomes from the application side or uh, embedded within the network, having these vulnerabilities. So with the number of uh, touch points in the network uh, increasing and the scale of that, it becomes more key and, and a focus area to leverage all the tools at your disposal to be able to really focus in on security vulnerabilities and exposing that uh, as soon as possible uh, to rectify any issues where those security vulnerabilities may, um, may arise in the network. So those are three focus areas where AI can really deliver uh, effective uh, as, as a tool set to be able to alleviate and then also propel those revenue services over the top. And what are the best practices for translating the big picture AI value proposition into next steps? Well, best practices, uh, you have to think about how does that data uh, exposed? And so best practices is really looking at standardization, uh, APIs, exposure, um, and, and how we can take that data, conform it and pre-process it into AI models. And so uh, leveraging that from a forward looking perspective uh, is not necessarily an area that's been traditionally looked at um, operating networks. And so data becomes really key your architecture and your data pipeline becomes very uh, valuable in how you construct that and expose those, whether it's building those enterprise services or looking at security vulnerabilities or looking at your OpEx cost savings. So that, that's a real key focus area uh, that operators can look at um, to deliver uh, AI into the, into the network. That's a very good point you're making there. And how can telcos use AI to help operations and to benefit customers? So there's a multitude of ways that uh, AI can help benefit operators from an operations perspective. So we talked about the cost savings effect uh, uh, of the network and looking at that aspect. So uh, adding in predictive capabilities. So looking at time series type data sets on the network, uh, looking at that and then tying that into uh, issues on the network, events that may happen, catastrophic events and, and kind of rooting those out. So if we can minimize uh, from an operator perspective, the times that there's issues on the network, the focus area is really driving down churn of the customers and, and the revenue opportunities. So the, the more we can minimize those and look at areas that are causing systemic issues within the network, uh, AI can really place a focus on that when we build uh, very pointed and far, uh, focused uh, models that can, that can derive that information from the network. Um, there's predict development. There's detecting anomalies. So when we look at uh, whether it's time series data or, or uh, log messages or any sort of data on the network, understanding anomalies that take place and then over time looking at those anomalies and seeing if we can understand any sort of intrinsic um, commonalities between, between those on features. That's another area that operators can look at exploiting their data from the network and using AI to do that. Um, and also any sort of classification correlation systems as well. So there's a multitude of, of ML AI approaches and techniques that can be leveraged that can be baked into the operationalization of the network um, that, that can be exploited to improve things 
uh, run things more smoothly. And ultimately, the goal of the operator is reducing churn um, from the operation side. How can we reduce churn, churn uh, minimize issues, and deliver our services with those quality SLAs that they expect from the operators? So AI is real key uh, at enabling that with the, the vast amount of data that, that will be that is and will be produced on the network. And in your view, what are the key considerations for the progression of AI adoption? So the key elements for AI adoption are really building a sound architecture when it comes to the data pipeline. So exposing the data from the network uh, and pre-processing that for ML models for the training and execution is really key on how that is accomplished. Uh, ML models are, are very sensitive to that data. So the architecture there is very key. Uh, and so standardizations becomes a big play. The less that network operators have to architect on their own and design in, and they can rely on standardizations, it's beneficial for both the vendors that apply uh, into the space and then also the network operator. For example, the ORAN community and the RIC, the, uh, the RAN Intelligent Controller, building that data pipeline, exposing the data, the models, and then exposing that data to leverage third parties to build apps over the top. So standardization uh, around that is very key in the adoption and then accelerating uh, AI into the network and exposing that data. Finally, can you tell us how Fujitsu is helping telcos transform their networks through AI? So Fujitsu is a big player in the AI space globally. Uh, with, with respect to network operators, we're taking a look at the oper operations aspect and really helping to uh, focus on that efficiencies uh, in operations and also on the enterprise services area and security. So we're looking at all three of those areas. Uh, and as an example in operations, we're looking at to be proactive uh, with our modeling, uh, looking at events uh, that happen on the network and understanding those events uh, to uh, assess and understand root causes around those events, apply resolutions, minimize that time uh, that it gets to uh, for an operator to look at root cause and resolutions and then provide a predictive element to that and tying it to the models. So we're very focused on all of these aspects and providing services and in solutions around the AI component that can contribute to facilitating that. Uh, and, and with that, uh, we have a Vitora Analytics Transformation, which is our AI uh, software platform as part of our portfolio in the Vitora brand that focuses specifically on multi-vendor networks and it's data agnostic. And we apply those use cases leveraging our Vitora AX platform uh, to deliver the AI services to network operators. Joe, it's been a pleasure speaking with you. Thank you for your time. Thank you.